And what we're going to do is we're going to take our spool and our fishing pole and poke that reverse through the spool. This will then oops, go down the accessory channel. With the suction cap on, we'll advance this out of the scope. There we go. And Amanda will hook the little knot in the hook. There we go. Got it? Yep. And I will pull this back through. Being careful not to lose the knot as we come through here. And before it gets too long, here's one of the tricks. Before, the, uh, before too much line comes out, I'm going to line the knot up with a little notch on the spool. And hook that into the slot. And then spool it on. Carefully put the cap on the scope. And I'll just push that on a little bit further. All right. Now we want to make sure we're all lined up properly. So if we look on our screen, we want to rotate the cap just a little bit so that we optimize our visualization. All right, we don't want to put a lot of lube on this. So sometimes just a little bit on the outside will slide it through the orifice. This is a pretty big diameter now that we have a cap on it, but 